A hundred thousand years ago, the biblical city citizens vanished suddenly. So scientists over the period have tried to find out what exactly happened. However, they were no successful in finding any traces or evidence that might give them any explanation. But with the recent discovery by archaeologists, the answer has been found. For years, artists, theologians, and archaeologists have been captivated by the fiery fate of the doomed cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. According to the book of Genesis, God rained down burning sulfur to punish those cities for their wickedness, destroying all living things within them. Is there any evidence that these cities existed and were destroyed by a natural disaster? Hello and welcome back to the Abandoned Archaeologist again, the channel to learn all about ancient archaeological findings. Today we will discuss the discovery of the real fate of the ancient biblical city of Sodom. But before we begin, to get your attention, we have a question you can answer at the end of the video by watching it. How is Sodom destroyed? So write down your answer in the comment section and see if you got it right. Here we begin with our video. Discovery of the Biblical City of Sodom The team of archaeologists working on a site in Jordan may have discovered the ancient biblical city of sin, Sodom. Dr. Stephen Collins, a professor of biblical studies and apologetics at Trinity Southwest University says that the monstrous tall El Hammam site in the southern Jordan Valley which lies eight miles northeast of the Dead Sea, matches the descriptions of the Bronze Age city-state. According to the Old Testament, it meets every criterion of Sodom, which was destroyed by fire and brimstone along with its neighbor, Gomorrah. The site, which is thought to date from 3500 to 1540 BC, is marked by a large mound that may have once been too lower in upper cities where the rich and elite lived. Researchers discovered 10-meter high and 5-meter thick defensive walls, gates, towers, plazas and ramparts as well as a red palace in the upper city. The defensive structures which appeared to be 30 meter high from the surrounding terrain would have protected wealthy residents as well as the king's palace. However, life ceased in the city near the end of the Middle Bronze Age before being abandoned for 700 years. Key Characteristics of the City Colin stated that this discovery is a watershed moment in archaeology, that the people who once lived in this region thrived in their carefully chosen location and that the area was especially important between 3500 and 1450 BC. The city, which has been described as monstrous, is divided into two districts and is surrounded by a 5 to 10 meter high adobe wall. There are also numerous plazas connected by various roads. That is not to say that the section of the wall that protected the lower town was inadequate. It was 4 meters or 13 feet thick, built on a boulder foundation and topped with adobe. Moreover, the ruins of a palatial red adobe structure was a massive door are also located in this area. Finally, the presence of towers and gates within the walls, in addition to the other elements, suggests that the fortifications of the city during the Bronze Age were far more powerful than previously thought. Speculations that Sodom was destroyed by an exploding meteor According to new research, a powerful airbus from a meteor colliding with the atmosphere may have wiped out a Bronze Age civilization along the north side of the Dead Sea 3,700 years ago. Yes, as in the biblical, Torah and Quranic cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, which were supposedly destroyed by God's brimstone and fire. According to site samples, an extremely hot, explosive event leveled an area of nearly 200 square miles, including the Middle Gore, a circular plain to the north of the Dead Sea, not only eradicating all Middle Bronze Age cities and towns, but also removing agricultural soils from once fertile fields, according to the abstract. The intense shockwaves from the blast may have also covered the area with a superheated brine of Dead Sea and hydrite salts, according to the researchers. As a result, it took at least six centuries for the region to recover and for civilization to return, thanks to the contamination and destruction of the soil. The evidence suggested an event similar to the Tunguska incident in 1908 when a fireball in the sky was followed by explosions and a large swath of Siberian forest was discovered leveled. Tal El Haman was revealed to be Sodom and was destroyed by a cosmic airbus, but the biggest question remains, did someone, perhaps a deity, order an asteroid strike on Sodom? Destruction of Sodom and its Significance in the Bible The biblical story of Sodom and Gomorrah warns about the destructive consequences of sin. When Abraham learned of God's plan to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, he begged God to spare them if he could find 50 innocent, godly people. God assures Abraham that if he finds 50 just people, he will spare the city for their sake. Abraham then asks about a lesser and lesser number 
until down to 10 people has got answers. For the sake of 10, I will not destroy it. God's angels arrive in Sodom and Gomorrah. According to the Bible dictionary, Sodom was one of the most ancient cities of Syria. It is frequently associated with Gomorrah, Adma, and Zeboim, and on one occasion with Bela or Zor. However, Sodom was clearly the settlement's main town. God's angels arrived at the gates of Sodom and Gomorrah after leaving Abraham, where they were greeted by the gatekeeper Lot. He begged the angels to come to his house so he could wash their feet and feed them. The angels agreed and went to Lot's house, but unfortunately, Lot was a stranger in Sodom and did not succumb to the city's lustful, degenerate sins. The Sins of Sodom One of the most common sins in Sodom was homosexuality, which involved men having sexual relations with other men and boys. Sodom is where we get the term sodomy and sodomites, named after this widespread sin of the town. The city's men surrounded Lot's house after the angels enter it. They called to Lot, Where are the men who came to you tonight? Genesis chapter 19 verse 5 says, Bring them because we want to have sex with them. Lot begged the crowd to reconsider, even offering his two virgin daughters in place of the two visiting men, the angelic identities of whom the lustful sodomites were apparently unaware. The men inside pulled Lot back inside and shut the door as the crowd moved to break down the door. Later, they struck the men at the door with blindness, causing them to be unable to find the door. And then finally, they told Lot that if he had anything else there, he should get it out because they were going to destroy the place. The Burning of Sodom and Gomorrah Lot fled Sodom with his wife and two daughters after being unable to persuade his sons-in-laws to leave the city, encouraged by the two angels that the Lord would look after them. The angels advise Lot to flee to the mountains, but Lot insists on taking his family to a nearby city called Zor to ensure their survival. By the time Lot arrived at Zor, the sun had risen over the land, the Bible says. Then the Lord rained down burning sulfur from the heavens on Sodom and Gomorrah. As a result, he overthrew those cities and the entire plain, destroying all those who lived in them and the vegetation on the land. But when the Lord's wife turned around, she became a salt pillar. So Abraham rose early the next morning and returned to where he had stood before the Lord. He looked down at Sodom and Gomorrah, the entire plain, and saw dense smoke rising from the ground, like smoke from a furnace. So when God destroyed the cities of the plain, he remembered Abraham and brought Lot out of the disaster that destroyed the cities where Lot had lived. According to Bible commentaries like the Niv Sonder Van Study Bible, Lot's wife was turned into a pillar of salt as she looked back. For disobeying the instruction not to look back, her actions indicate that she sympathized with the people of Sodom. Her failure to flee God's wrath is a stark warning to others. Luke chapter 17 verse 32. The story of Sodom and Gomorrah teaches us the consequences of sin and God's wrath. What do you think of the discovery of the lost city and its ancient destruction? Let us know. And the answer to the question we have asked is that, as per some reports, it was destroyed by a meteor, while some believed it was destroyed by the god. Comment your views and subscribe for more.